Hey you guys, it's Molly. I am going to be doing an ocean series for my next show coming up in October. Um, and so I've mixed up all my colors. I'm super excited about it. It's gonna be a blow dryer pour, but I took the attachment off so that I could get kind of some splotchy areas. Um, I've done one of these pours before on a smaller scale. It's video 50, if you want to check it out. It was months ago, and I did a few more like it, and they all sold, um, so I don't have any more. So I'm using Payne's Gray, which I love. I'm just going to kind of spread this around because the Payne's Gray and Thalo Blue I want to be my, my main colors. And you want to, when you're doing pores like this, if you want to get some kind of lacing or cells, you want to make sure that was Thalo Blue. You want to make sure that your colors kind of overlap because the crossing over of the colors allows, when they're thin enough, allows for the density to come through. I kind of want to save my phthalo green. I'm going to do a little bit of cerulean blue here to start. Then I'm going to add some white and some gold because it always ends up reminding me of um, kind of coral underneath the ocean. This is a turquoise color. I'll list all the colors down below my pouring medium like I always do. I wanted to say thank you for everybody that's been supporting my channel. I really, really appreciate it. As well as um, my inspiration for a lot of these ocean pours comes from Pinterest. So I have a bunch of boards there if you want to check them out. And my links to my Instagram. Thank you to the viewer that told me that it was uh, broken. Um, but I show a lot of my dried pieces on Instagram. So if you guys want to check them out. Uh, go to the link below the video and you can see my Instagram account. Okay, I think that's enough to start with. So I'm going to turn the blow dryer on and uh, we'll see what happens. Wish me luck. I'm on low. I'm using a Revlon blow dryer. I may have to add the attachment back for the first part. I think I'm going to actually. So let me add my attachment back. Okay, I added the attachment back on. The attachment, oh, I've already got some really pretty lacing going on. The attachment helps kind of angle to blow the paint back out. So see how that moves so much better that way? I had painted my edges already because um, when it drips over the side, I want to have nice finished edges. And I want to have some movement here. So I don't want to have to go back in. It's really hard to touch up your edges afterwards, especially when you're doing a bunch of different color schemes. So, you guys know I love working in big canvases, so that's why I paint the edges ahead of time. But I've been doing a lot of negative space pours, but I really like it when the entire canvas is covered as well. I'm liking that as a start already. Um, let me see if I can 
I don't know if I can bring you guys in or not. Yeah, you can't really see it that well, but I've got a lot of lacing and cells already in this. So now's the time that I can come back in and figure out my composition, what I like, what I don't like. Um, so right now, I want to add in some of this phthalo green in a couple of places, and I'm going to blow that out. Hope you guys can still see while I'm around here. But yeah, just the motion of these reminds me of waves in the ocean. I don't know, do any of you guys live by the ocean? Or are inspired by the ocean, the beach? I definitely am. So I'm gonna put some gold over top of this and then I'll come back in with some white. And then I don't wanna overwork it. So I may just be done after that. with some white as my last oops some of my some of my uh, blue got into my white so I'm trying to create just a little bit of motion here Oh yeah, I love this. Blow a little bit in towards the center. I think I want just a little bit more white right here. And for contrast, some blue through it and cells will pop up there. Oh yeah, I like this piece. explosion right there. Thalo blue is always so beautiful. Okay. Oh, I 
I love this little strip that happened right there. Yep, I love it. So I'm just gonna touch up a couple little edges around here. Just blow a little bit of that off the side. I like that the edges kind of drip down, that it's not all covered. So that gold is showing up really well. All right, I'll take you guys down and show you what I'm talking about on like the lacing that happens and the, this part right here, I might blow out a little bit again off camera. I really, I don't like that hard edge that's right there. With that gold there's that phthalo green there's like a little explosion of cells right there yeah I really really like this piece um, I was trying to see if maybe I could show you from a different angle but yep there it is get it from up there yeah, I really, really like this piece. All right, you guys. Check out all my links below. Find me on social media. Let me know what you think of the piece. I kind of like the movement of it kind of blowing out. All right, so number one. I don't know if this will be number one that you see, but in my next ocean series. So I'll be doing a wave swipe as well soon, so... All right, thank you guys for watching. Happy painting.